Good morning to you, my dear children. <clears throat> Today, Ash Wednesday, we are going to be celebrating this great festival of the church, this, which comes at the beginning of our Lenten period. And we'll begin with a hymn that you all know very well, 40 days and 40 nights. And that hymn is in your hymn book. And we sing it now. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his holy, his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we pray, Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, 
may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission, and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty and Holy God, your Son, in obedience to the Spirit, fasted forty days in the desert. Give us grace to discipline ourselves that we may press on toward Easter with eager faith and love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we pause for the readings from the scripture for our Ash Wednesday. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Jesus said, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your sins may be so that your alms may be done in secret, and your father who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and in the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites. For there they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father, who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Gospel of Christ prays to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, we are at the beginning of our Lenten season. As we heard in our first song, a 40-day period, 40 days and 40 nights. Lent is a period leading up to Easter. And during our Lenten time, we take time out to think of all that our Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ experienced leading up to his crucifixion on Good Friday. This is a time when we pray for ourselves and our world. We pray that we human beings would treat each other the way we ought to. Now, we know that there is a pandemic and there is a lot of suffering in the world. 
And we know there is a war going on in Europe, in the Ukraine, and we pray for those people there that peace will eventually be restored to their land. And we pray and ask God to forgive those who are doing the wrong thing and, you know, acting as bullies against innocent people and killing, you know, other human beings, etc. We pray that God will stop that kind of behavior and turn their hearts around so that they act in ways that support each other as opposed to hurt each other. We ask the same thing for people in our own country that, you know, crime and all those things that hurt our country and, and hurt people and bring pain and sadness, we ask God to change our hearts so that we could repent of that kind of behavior and adopt the right kind of practices and practice what Jesus has asked us to practice, which is love one another. So that's what we do. We love one another as Jesus loved us and gave himself for us. And we continue. Dear friends in Christ, every year at the time of the Christian Passover, we celebrate our redemption through the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Lent is a time to prepare for this celebration and to renew our life in the Paschal Mystery. We begin this holy season by remembering our need for repentance and for the mercy, forgiveness, and grace proclaimed in the gospel of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We begin our journey to Easter with the sign of ashes, an ancient sign speaking of the frailty and uncertainty of human life and marking the penitence of the community as a whole. Let us ask God our Father to bless these ashes to become a symbol of of our intention. They have been made from the palms with which we greeted Christ our King with joy last Palm Sunday. They are a sign that we intend to prepare ourselves with penitence for Easter. Let us pray. Lord, bless these ashes to our use and grant that they may remind us of our mortality and of our need of repentance so that we may keep Lent faithfully in preparation for the victory and joy of Easter. We ask this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we are not imposing ashes on our foreheads this year in school, but I would ask you to make the sign of the cross on your forehead with your finger and you can think of the words that are normally said when we put ashes on our foreheads and we usually say remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return repent and believe the gospel and everybody says, Amen. So, as a school community, we all say together now, Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Return to the Lord with all your heart, Leave the past in ashes and turn to God with tears and fasting, for he is slow to anger and ready to forgive. And we say some prayers now, and at the end of each prayer, I will say, Lord, in your mercy and your responses, hear our prayer. God, our Father, 
We praise you that you are always ready to forgive the penitent. Bring us by your Spirit to true repentance and the joy of knowing your forgiveness. Accept through Jesus Christ our Lenten acts of love and sacrifice. Prepare us to celebrate his Passover and to share his risen life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for your church throughout the world. For Gregory, our Archbishop, and in this diocese for Claude, our Bishop, the clergy and the people. Free us from dependence on material goods and the worship of power, and from all that hinders our union with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our country and all in authority. Purge our land of all that is contrary to your will. Bring us all to know Christ as the way, the truth, and the life, that we may live in harmony with one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we commend to your loving care all who will die during this Lent. Bring them and all the departed through the passion and death of your Son to share in the glory of his resurrection. We offer these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We all say, Amen. Now the peace, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and With thanksgiving, I'll be a 